all right so you want to make games you're going to learn exactly how to become a game dev just through watching this video so clearly the countless videos you watched already just aren't helpful enough they're either just not clear or it just straight up confusing bro like all these engines the costs how to make money stuff like that there's actually a proven step-by-step -step method that's going to take you yes you right now watching this video to make your first game well i'll teach you how to make games effortlessly and even how to get publishers as i've released three small games and i've surfed on forums for a long time in order to find exactly what works for others and get over the fear of people judging you or making a mistake it's hard to find someone that gets it bro the struggle is real my guy i'm going to hold you by the hand throughout the process throughout this video this is the only video you need to learn game development okay so you know the type of game you want to make or even at least slightly even if you don't that's fine you now first have to pick an engine okay so the most important thing to consider here is what type of game you want to make for 2d or 2.5d games you need to choose either unreal or unity you could use unity because the community is much larger there's a lot more tutorials on unity there's a lot of things you can find a lot of resources there's really good documentation as well but if you compare that with godot it's very easy and open source and if you put them up against each other godot is the more compact easy and open source it's easier to learn there's not much of a learning curve and godot is just better for beginners my recommendation is godot for 2d or 2.5d games but unity can also be used if you prefer a more community based engine there's just a lot more things you can find especially on the feature you're looking for it, well there's also game maker which is made for 2d games for game maker this is relatively free unless you're gonna take the commercial route and that's when price tags are gonna be introduced into the equation but in general unity and godot are the best options for 3d games there's unreal these are the guys who just want to make skyrim like open world i mean it's good for bigger more open world games since it's been there for longer there's a lot of features and they have a lot of skin in the game then there's unity but this doesn't contain as many features unreal already has built-in 3d controllers and unity also has skin in the game because they've made this engine and it's very well known and then there's godot this is just a well-rounded engine it's picked up a lot of traction throughout late of last year because of some controversy but this engine has some exponential trajectory i would say godot is underrated godot is underrated straight up godot has some features geared towards more creative lower scaled projects and to be honest you don't need to overlook graphical capabilities of either of these engines because if you're a solo developer you can do anything in either of these engines you can make a pretty decent looking game in all these engines i mean with godot look at freaking sonic colors and botado although they were made in a modified version of godot it's just still something you can think about so all engines are viable for 2d 2.5d and 3d games especially for solo indie developers but you can't make 2d games in unreal you can't well, that's what we hear but for unreal there's a 2d framework called paper 2d which basically allows you to load in 2d sprites and will allow you to work in 2d in unreal this looks beautiful when you're making 2.5d games especially when you add in shaders physics these complex calculations and some lighting capabilities you can really come up with something really cool looking so the biggest recommendations for beginners are godot unity and unreal but there are also other really popular options like game maker default lumberyard ng develop the top three are the best though but please don't go for these bro please don't please don't like go for like these ones unless obviously you know what you're doing or you just want to experiment with things but these top three will probably suit your needs the best let's talk about costs because bro like can you actually afford it with unreal it's free until you start making over one million dollars of your game and over that threshold there's a five percent loyalty which is actually a pretty good deal to be honest after the point of making one million dollars there's really no struggle in paying a five percent royalty but for other people like filmmakers it's not a five percent loyalty necessarily but but there's a $1,850 seat in which you have to pay for something like a filmmaker or a 3D artist or something else that's not game dev related. And then there's Godot. Godot is free. It's also really open source. It's actually the best recommendation because if you look at the trajectory of Godot, as I said earlier, it just the rate at which it grows will certainly pass other engines in the future it's looking really promising at this point many popular games released by godot recently including brotado and some of the games on screen right now and then there's unity godot is a hundred percent free you don't have to worry about 
anything you just load up the engine and it's no strings attached unless you can donate or volunteer of course and you can fund godot through that means and unity it starts to get a bit complicated because unity the things with unity they like to overcomplicate things the unity pricing system is a bit more complicated because if you make over 200 grand per what the fudge if you're making over 200 grand per year there's going to be a cost where you have to upgrade for unity pro in which that's two thousand forty dollars a year per seat and if you're making over one million dollars and also one million engagements which is basically defined as a time a user acquires or downloads or engages with your game yeah yeah that's kind of immeasurable it's actually a great engine it's just the company's not working straight this is quite confusing and cannot be clear to the game developer once you get over one million dollars and one million engagements there's gonna be a runtime fee or a 2.5% rev share. The runtime fee basically works every time a person installs your game, you have to pay a certain commission. But in that case, there's a 2.5% revenue loyalty, which is actually way better than the runtime fee. And Unity has gained a bad reputation. So here's the diagram explaining these engines in a nutshell. Credit to this person for making this. We can see that pretty much all of them are open source. Step two, the game dev roadmap. So now that you have your engine, you must get something done as fast as possible and you have to get over the fear of judgment so the thing is the faster you fail the better are you gonna fail now and just get it over with or are you gonna suffer embarrassment once you tell others that you actually don't have any experience in this field of game development you must start making a game right now no one's gonna wait for you to make your first game just start with something small just get something over with and just put it out there first thing you do is you go to youtube and you search for a basic beginner tutorial for your engine the engine that you chose for the game and then you just basically make either a 2d or 3d game it has to be a basic game it doesn't have to be related to your dream game just get something and you just hear to learn after you make this basic game the second step is to make a game on your own without this tutorial but you could use it if you want but this time you must make a game with one unique feature or mechanic and it has to be one don't scope creep and don't bs yourself it has to be one unique mechanic and use that knowledge but the thing is by now since you've made the basic game you have some knowledge and you make a game with one unique mechanic that you like and you get it done this again doesn't have to be related with your dream game this is just like a practice round which gets your portfolio up so something that can really help you is imagine your dream game but each mechanic of that dream game is a small game so compartmentalize your dream game into several mechanics and each mechanic is a small game that you're gonna make around that mechanic and the third step is to release it release that game on itch.io not steam because Steam is not a dumpster fire. H.io is where everyone releases their crappy games. No one really cares. No one really cares, to be honest. Just get it over with. With this unique game, you can use placeholder programmer art. You can use basic shapes or even default icons. But I don't recommend that, obviously. And yeah, remember, this is not your dream game necessarily. What you're basically doing is building up a portfolio of small games on your H.io page. This is kind of like your wall of shame. Why are you doing this? Well, you actually don't know any better, bro. Well, you just have to do your best until you know what's out there. Once you actually get some skin in the game, you get better. And then once you get better, you can actually do better next time. Because you can't expect to make a dream game while you haven't made any small games before this. And the third step publishers this is actually a gate kept secret so hopefully the people who are not serious have left off this video so you've now learned how to get started making games you now know how to finish a game and actually release it a lot of developers have never actually released a game so congrats if you follow this step you are one of the developers who've actually released a game you're now an actual game developer after you've released two or three crappy games yes repeat this process for two or three times because that's really gonna reinforce your portfolio how much experience you have so once you've created two or three unique games with a unique mechanic now you make a 10 minute demo of your dream game yes now we're gonna make your dream game we're gonna make a hyper polished 10 minute demo just a 10 minute demo you don't need the full game what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that 10 minute demo and we're gonna make a pitch deck this is gate kept so listen up this is how game developers get publishers for funding for the game a pitch deck is a form of media it can be a word document or a website in which you use to secure press coverage or in this case we're securing a publisher so it's basically a rundown of what your game is about your game design doc and everything like that your trailer and you basically compile this into one document and it's basically like a sales call 
Imagine having a sales call with clients. You'd be trying to make a deal with these publishers. You send emails to 20 to 50 publishers in the industry you want. So you go to ChatGPT, you know your dream game, you search for similar publishers which publish your dream games, let's say to the platformer, and then you send emails to 25 to 50 of those publishers. This is gatekept. Do not take this for granted. I right, so once you've had your portfolio, you'll be looking into the step of securing publishers or a form of crowdfunding or even soft publishing. So publishing is actually fine and gives you the most control and it's what a lot of people go for. There's really no right or wrong answer. It just has to do with the type of person you are. If you're a more secure person or if you're more of a leader, you can't have someone working above you, then I wouldn't recommend publishers. If you're still sitting there confused, bro, at this point, you must take that leap. I know it's hard, man, but if you're not gonna do it now, when are you gonna do it? You're not just here just wishing you were a game dev. You actually wanna learn how to make games and hopefully make money from this. So this is a very important step. You must do something. Stop worrying about choosing the wrong engine. Just either choose those three engines and just get started. This is how you make games in a nutshell. By the way, my Discord is linked in the description and other people who have been more experienced, they already have answers to all your questions. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Click here if you wanna learn more.